The Fallen Blots Tell a Story. The Minecraft trend was shattered in our very home of YouTube. The YouTuber Dream and his armies will lead this charge for power. A resurgence for an infinite game had started, reshaping our landscape. Soon, the offspring of Dream's popularity would strive for power claiming different followers from around the globe. In a way to bring order, the SMP genre was made, but alas, it would wound it forward. Millions fought to gain the power that was YouTube clout to take control of the broken land. Many battled bravely, but now the head of this genre, the Dream SMP, was nowhere to be found. It was a war in which no one could ever win. It would lead to the great algorithm abandoning the lands, letting us become cloudless. Amongst these ashes, a new leader shall take its place as the new SMP and establishes power all over the Minecraft landscape. Oh, arise now, ye crafted, ye blocks who yet now mine. The call of long lost content speaks to us all. Tom the Gamer, the one-eyed god of the Badlands. The ever-sus UV Blacklight. Quag, artist of the first. The lore wielder, JK Games. And Super Squid, the never alive. journey to build their legacies within this oasis. Uh, so that intro was pretty good, huh? Hmm, uh, never mind. Uh, anyway, there's a hundred days in this video, jeez. So, um, let's just get over this, shall we? Because, uh, the ending is the really good part that you should see. But yeah, let's just get over this. Starting with... Alright, so day one, I joined the server. And, uh, yeah, it was doing pretty good. I put on some shaders and, oh my god! I don't know what happened with the shaders, but so I put on a different set of shaders. Anyway, I started a deforestation campaign and, um, you know, started getting some trees, like a classic Minecraft gameplay. You know, all these trees and, oh, and O'Meal gave me some diamonds. Y yeah, it was for an achievement. The UV has some achievements in this version of Minecraft, so, um, I can get diamonds by, you know, getting diamonds given to me or by, you know, doing this. Yeah, free diamonds, baby. Let's go. Anyway, so I started, you know, getting my equipment set. 
you know, when you look at my skilled Minecraft gameplay, this is definitely not sped up footage. I am just this good at this game. My goodness, look at look at me go. Anyway, so I started, you know, doing an animal killing campaign. You know, gotta get that food from somewhere. I mean, you know, it's, it's food. I mean, I'm sorry to all the cows and such. Uh, it was going pretty great, too, until um, I saw this. I have no idea what that was, so um, we're just going to ignore that. Anyway, um, we're just going to start digging into some caves. Yippee, everyone's favorite activity. Starting to strip mine and everything. Um, but yeah, just, just going to close this up and uh, yeah, going down. Honestly, I just sped up a couple bits of the footage. Um, don't worry, this is just for the beginning. In the future, I'll you know, cut away from this stuff, but I sped up a good amount because, like, you know, who wants to see me mine for a bunch of time? Anyway, I built a furnace so I can see because I didn't think to get some coal or anything. So, yeah, and also I need to cook my food, so yeah. Day two, I found some. Uh, Oh, I didn't find anything, but I, I got some stone, got a stone pickaxe, and found some coal. Yeah, yeah, that, that's what I was gonna say I found. Yeah, I used the coal, got some torches, and uh, yeah. Anyway, this footage right here, 16 times speed. I, I don't know why. It, this, it, this is literally 7 minutes long. This was just me mining. Don't, don't ask why I did this. I... I Listen, I thought it would be cool for the other uh, just, 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 just ignore this, okay? Just ignore this. Uh, uh, am I going to cut away at some... Uh, okay, still waiting. And, uh, there we go. Still kind of mining. You getting all this stuff? Yippee. Uh, look at all that water flood out. See? There we go. Uh, still getting, digging down. Um, yeah, yeah. Listen, these early days are going to be kind of boring. Oh, hey, look, I found iron. That's, that's pretty interesting. See? See, pretty interesting gameplay right here. Yeah. God, I really should have cut a lot of this stuff. Man, just look at me go acquiring some hardware. Anyway, so just gonna make a iron pick because you know, classic Minecraft gameplay. All right, uh, day three. Um, got some copper. Yeah, got got the best material in the game. Definitely doesn't overflow the storage. Definitely doesn't just make my storage. Uh, anyway, so we just say UV black light a bunch of times. Yeah, that was weird. And I found some gold. Um, but yeah, that's pretty, pretty pretty cool. I'd say pretty cool. Day four, a guy got deeper into the mines. Got to near Y fifty six and Y fifty whatever. Yeah, I kept on going down, going down, and I found this cave. It was pretty cool. Honestly, it was pretty cool. And, uh, yeah, just started walking around. Started walking around, built to chest because I didn't want to lose my stuff, you know? I still had diamonds. Still had diamonds. I didn't want to lose all that stuff. I used my one piece of iron, you know, built a shield, the classic Minecraft strat. You know, the best thing in the game and all this stuff. I missed that piece of iron for some reason because I saw a zombie spawner. And I'd rather take that out. But uh, there was one weird thing about this zombie spawner. Um, if you can see, these zombies aren't chasing me. I, I don't know why. They are just standing still. They are not doing anything. They See? I, I attacked one. Yeah, yeah, I attacked that one. It, it was weird. Anyway, I got I got the stuff from the chest. I got a golden apple, which I definitely won't forget about in the future part of this gameplay. But anyway, I kept going down the tunnel. And uh, it looked pretty cool. I heard some spider hissing. I found some iron. So, you know, just, just kind of wanted to walk down. Anyway, the spider hissing got closer. And yeah, he was right behind me. And I killed it. That, that was pretty sad, honestly. Why was I even worried? It was, it was a spider. Why, why the heck was I worried? Anyway, so I got back, made some iron armor. Look, looking pretty cool with that iron armor, except boots. 
I, I, I literally had one left for boots. Day, fi day five. Day five. Uh, I found, yeah, lava. Uh, I was at Y59. Um, and yeah, just, just kind of mining. It, it was a lot of lava. It, it was just a lot of lava. Anyway, uh, I found di- I, look, look, look at this. I found di- Oh, wait, no, that's just- That's just lapis. Uh, uh, never mind. In order. Day six. Um. Kind of mining and lava. That, that, you know, it was just another lava wall. I, I decided, though, in my ever so genius strategies, to dig over it. I, I don't know why I didn't think of this earlier, but, you know, I dug over it and got some redstone. Because I definitely am a redstone magician, like, um, you know, mumbo jumbo and all them, all them people. Anyway, uh, yeah, I started digging again for the straight mine, got gravel, and hey, look! Look up there! The best thing ever! Diamonds! Yeah! It was actually a pretty good amount of diamonds. I started using, like, y 56 Probably a big mistake, I don't know. Anyway, day seven. Day seven. Uh, I head back to the village, which is now called Oasis. Yeah, now you see what the title of this video is, huh? Anyway, yeah, so Oasis is looking pretty cool. Look at that mansion. Definitely, that that definitely won't be, um, you know, if it uh, Hey, look at that tower. And then this farmland. And hey, look, Auction was following me. Auction, man. Again, this was a couple months ago, so I don't think his skin is that anymore. I think it's like Talking Ben. Now, you'll see later. Anyway, so yeah. Uh, Auction's just walking with me. And I took a... This is like the chunk mine. Uh, I forgot the actual name, but... Just entire chunk the mind out. I don't know what happened to that now. I don't know what's on that location anymore, but I, I'm just walking around kind of trying to find a place to put my house. And so I decided right here. It was a good open area and I asked for some tools on the board doing all that stuff. And I started another deforestation campaign. But it, that, that's literally it. I just took a bunch of trees down and especially near my house. Like, I don't even... I, I don't even remember doing this, but yeah, started building the foundation of my house and uh, Yeah, see look it looks pretty cool so far all these logs. It's gonna look pretty cool Day eight uh, I went not mining. I, I'm inside of a mountain right now you, you, I didn't cut to it, but yeah, I'm just getting some cobblestone from my house You know for all that stuff and then uh, I decided to look at this moon looks pretty cool Day nine, uh, I went back to sort of finish the foundation of my house, just just sort of walking around. Yeah, so put some cobblestone down. It, it was pretty cool. I just you know started putting up the walls again, looking pretty neat, looking pretty good. I'm so good at this game. Look at me go. Then I started breaking stuff because I didn't have an axe at the time. I was playing some down some slabs and messed up, you know. You messed up in Minecraft. Um, but yeah, started tearing some trees down again. I, I do that a lot. I do that a lot when I need a bunch of wood. I, I mean, it is the thing you do, but you know, just saying. Anyway, so I finished my house. There it is. We'll put the doors up and boom. I don't, don't, don't mind that hole. Anyway, day 10. Day 10. I went out adventuring. I really wanted to find some stuff, and I really wanted to, like, expand out, and I almost went off the map. I don't know why I didn't load in. Anyway, I also ran to this island with just floating mobs. Just, just every single mob was floating. I know the island didn't spawn in, but it was just weird. Day 11, I found this island, this really cool island. I started getting some coal out of it because I knew that would be useful. And, uh, I mean, just look at this giant hole in the crater. I mean, it just, it just looked pretty cool. Like, look at this place. L look at this scene. Look at me use replay mod. I definitely didn't go back to this place earlier because it was untouched for some reason. But yeah, just look at this place. God, look at, look at us just going. God, it, it just looks so beautiful. God, you, got, you gotta love this place. Anyway, I, I, I definitely didn't forget about this place until literally now editing this video. Anyway, uh, I, I, I found some turtles. Uh, found some turtles on the same island. I, I didn't know really what to do with them. Right, so I just let them be. They're turtles, so I just let them be. 
Anyway, so I I teleported back to um the the home, the town, because UV was. Oh, I hear UV. Um, ignore that. That 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 definitely. That, don't worry, he forgives me for that. Anyway, so I started walking to my house and there was a giant crater. I guess a creeper blew up. This is a way bigger than a usual creeper. But anyway, guy, I smelted all the glass. I smelt, I got some glass, you know, from the sand and it, you know, and someone built a giant penis. I don't know why, just right there. You know, it was pretty, pretty tall. I, I hit UV again. I, oh, ow. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That, that definitely hurts. Anyway, we took a group photo. We went to take a group photo. It was, it was pretty. And he died. And he, it was pretty cool. And uh, look at us, look at us right there. Look at us. It's, it's one big family. Like half the people, don't worry, half the people will at least stay on. Anyway, so after that, um, just started going back out again. You know, kind of exploring the area, trying to see what was out here. And again, we're exploring fully. But yeah, it was pretty cool. Day 12. I started mining for a lot more iron again. And, uh, you know, hit deep slate and everything. And I kept going down until I found this, um, uh, cool looking cave. I don't know, it just looks really cool. Guy, I really want to build a cave base, that's just my random thought. Anyway, so I kept building down, I, well not building down, breaking blocks and going down until I found um, this. I, I, it, this is, this place is actually scary. I wish I, I could build like an underground base here. It looks like I'm gonna get like I'm gonna get the people in charge of the lore. Tell them about this place. Try and find out where the coordinates are. Tr tell them about this place and tell them to build some type of castle. But yeah, day 13 now. I found diamonds. It, it was pretty cool, honestly. Did you know, find the diamonds. Yeah. Diamonds are very cool, I'd say. Alright, so uh, I, I tried going into the cave and I started building on the side. I went down, tried to build on the side. Even put a torch down, and yeah, there was a creeper right there. Thank goodness I had a shield. It, it kind of sucked that the creeper was right there, though. I don't know why. I got achievements, so I got like eight gunpowder, so that was pretty neat. Anyway, started exploring the cave, found some gold and diamonds right there. But, you know, my iron pick, you can tell, broke out of a stone one, so, um... Yeah, that was kind of hard to mine it, you know? I got the... I'm all, I didn't get the gold yet, but... I got an iron pick, and, you know, started heading back out for it again. Anyway, so, um, yeah, there was a bunch of creepers trying to kill me. And there was a skeleton. I could have gotten a Minecraft, um, like, disc. I could have tried to get, like... One of my favorites, but I, 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 I didn't realize that the skeleton was there at the time. Anyway, so just start exploring a little bit more. Let's see, look look at this place. It looks pretty cool. Honestly, I, I, I really wish I didn't forget about this place. Like, look at this. Oh, look, I even saved the screenshot. God. Anyway, so I, I hired Squid and, and uh, uh, one of the person. Yeah, yeah, sorry. I asked Squid and um, Game of Goose to help me, and yeah, we, we sort of just explored the entire place. I really, really love this place. Honestly, it looks, like, horrific. It actually looks scarier than the Nether. I'll say it right now. Like, look at this place. It just looks very cool. Anyway, I returned home, and, and yeah, just sort of uh, saw the improvements on the place. It was an enchantment table now, so I knew what to do later on. And, uh, yeah, put all my stuff inside my house. Day 14! I went to try and fix the, like, crater that's inside my... Not inside, but on the side of my house. And also I went down to the skeleton farm. Sort of killed a bunch of skeletons for XP. Because that enchantment table really wanted to enchant stuff. 
day 15, I'm I'm still here. Yeah, I, I, I'm still doing this. I, I'm I'm sorry. I'm sorry to all you Sans and Papyrus fans, uh, but I need XP. Honestly, I, do, I just kind of feel bad. They're just trapped in there. They can't even defend themselves. Like, what, what am I doing? Anyway, so, um, yeah. And did, I found out there was a mayor ship thing, so I ran, I said I was running for mayor, and I put on a sign saying my name, and that I was going to be the future mayor of this town. Yeah, so that that definitely won't lead to a plot line later on, later on you know? It's just, it's just something, um, something very cool we're doing. Definitely won't lead to some any trouble. Day 16. Went back adventuring again. And, uh, yeah. I found this, uh, like, ruined portal. So, it was, it was very cool seeing that. Just, like, out here. Sadly, though, um, yeah, it was looted already. That, that's, that's kind of rough. Anyway, so kept going back out, and I, well, okay, yeah, um, there's a water temple, aquatic temple, whatever they're called, yeah, Elder Guardian just, like, cursed me, so that, that kind, that was rough. But yeah, just, just sort of ignore that. I say the coordinates, I, I never went back, I, I'm just gonna say it right now, I never went back, I don't like going into water temples. Anyway, so, just kept exploring a, a bit more, see, look, just walking around, and yeah. Uh, I found this very big, like, crater, like, some meteor struck into it. I, I didn't go in it, though. I didn't want to. Day 17. Day 17. Just got some coal. Got some coal, and uh, it was in another cave and all that stuff. Yeah, I see, I went in. I went to the cave. That, that, this definitely isn't a big mistake. Um, but yeah, uh, I, I didn't even have a sword. I just had to use a stone axe. A stone axe. That's how desperate you know I am. I use a stone axe. Anyway, so I got some more iron because I need something better than a stone axe. I'm still mad at myself for that. And I found a even creepier cave. You can you can tell it's creepier because the music uh, stopped being cheerful and it went to creepy noise. Anyway, so, um, yeah, I was just here wondering what to do, and I decided I wasn't going to go in by myself. I, I, I wasn't going to go in at all. I wasn't going to go in. Not unless someone else was with me, that is. So, uh, I asked some Bree, like, soft girl Bree, uh, yeah, I asked her to kind of help me out here. And just, just come in with me, see if she can help me explore this place. Yeah, we went down this waterfall, and, um, yeah, it was going pretty well. I definitely, I definitely won't do anything I, I will regret later. Yeah, this is gonna go so well. Yeah, so I had to hurry back as fast as I can because, uh, yeah, she started dying too. Like, she started getting hit. And, uh, there was kind of a lot of mobs down there. I got my stuff, I teleported to her and all that stuff. And everything was going sort of well until she got shot by a skeleton. And I had to, you know, sort of, it, we were panicking. All our stuff, all that, all the loot, we were just in a panic. And she died again. I, so I just decided, you know what, screw it. I need to pick up her stuff before she dies. Or like, before, you know, despawns, she, do I die, she dies again, whatever. I, I just got all her stuff. So, I, I just prayed. That, you know, we didn't like, I didn't keep any of it, so yeah. It just went all the way back up the waterfall. I'm never going into that place again. Anyway, so, uh, I just sort of ran up, and I was safe. I, I, I made sure to give all her stuff back. I teleported her back. She was wearing gold armor for some reason. I guess she was, like, trying to get prepared. Can I feel bad now? Anyway, I, I gave her all of the stuff, and yeah, I, or at least what I assumed was her stuff. She gave me some blue or something. I don't know. I don't know what that means. Yeah, it was just blue. I, I definitely didn't forget about this. 
Anyway, so uh, she kind of wanted to get, well, not that she wanted to get off. I think I got off, then she might have exploded, and I don't know what happened. I just got off for the day. That's it. Anyway, day 18, I got back on and sort of was putting my stuff together. And as you can see, it's nighttime. Yeah, just ignore this. Day 18, I'm still going to count even though it turns to daytime in a couple couple of seconds. Anyway, so yeah, so it's still day 18. And there was, there was cows just everywhere. I I don't know why. So, uh, time to, um, time to go into the skeleton's farm. Yeah, I... I didn't even decide to use the cows for anything. Yeah, that, that was a that was a the Chekhov's gun right there. There you go. Ha! I fooled you. Anyway, so I uh, got these skeletons. Um, you know, just just killing them. Sans and Papyrus brothers. You know, all that whatnot. And uh, I almost fell into that piece of lava. Yeah. Um, day nineteen. Made a couple of diamond pickaxes and was going to try and enchant them. I also got like four diamonds back, so that was pretty cool. But yeah, see, look, look at me go. I definitely am going to get lucky with one of those enchantments, but four efficiency enchantments, that's pretty cool. Someone was dying, yeah, Omil just died. Dies, and well, not Omil, but like King Lazlo, whatever. Day 20. I. I, I kind of just started to, you know, use the enchantment table again. You know, I'm trying to get to all those levels. I, I just really wanted fortune. Just really wanted it. That was literally it. Like, I, I don't even use, like, it, even if it has unbreak, even if it didn't have unbreaking on it, I would really use it just for fortune. Just waste iron pickaxes inside caves. What sucked is that I, my luck was so bad, but eh, I saw this. It's like absolute masterpiece. Look at this. Look at this right here. My goodness. Day 21. Still, I'm um, still enchanting. And I got so touched somehow. I, I don't know what this game is on about. Anyway, there's a glow squid in the skeleton spawner. D don't question it. Day 22. I, I, I'm, I'm still killing skeletons. God. This is a tremendous start to this video. Day 23. I am trying to enchant more. And hey, look. Fortune 3. Told you I'd get there eventually. My luck is so good. It definitely didn't take me three days to get it. Anyway, so, you know, I went to Florida. Now I'm uh, I'm not going to read that. And anyway, I went to this bridge. It looks like a pretty cool bridge. I wonder if... Uh, look, look at that. I wonder where it leads into. It, it looks pretty cool, you know. And yeah, Tom owns it. I, I, huh. I never met Tom. Uh, um, I, 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 I think it will be pretty cool. His city looks like it will be pretty cool. Hey, there he is. But later. Yeah. I can't wait to see when it's finished. Day 24. I was trying to find an anvil. And uh, yeah. This guy had an anvil. Just He just plopped it right there. So yeah. I completed my pickaxe. And I call it the harvester. Because it... Harvest diamonds. Anyway, so I went back out to exploring again. Yeah, see, you got my boat. It, it, I do this a lot in the early days, don't worry. Anyway, so it just kept riding out into the ocean. Look at this, another, another water temple. I'm not going near that. Anyway, uh, went. To, I found a jungle area. It makes sense because of the music I'm playing. And yeah, there's a giant bonfire happening at like a, a nether, a broken portal, or I don't know what that is. It's just, it's just a bunch of nether. Like, it might have been the same one I found earlier, but good lord. Anyway, so I went down and found a pirate ship, actually. It's very cool. Uh, well, you, you can't see it yet. And you'll see it when I jump down. And there it is. See? That's very cool. Pirate ships and everything. Anyway, so I uh, got some food, got some moss, got some treasure maps that I definitely will try and do later. Yeah, definitely. Anyway. Day 25. I found an island. I found an island with, like, very tall trees. I, I forgot which, what type of wood it is. Dark oak or, like, um, woodland oak. Whatever. But I found... It started snowing as well. So, it, it was actually pretty cool. 
it looked way like play lava like ice and water with the snow in the background yes yeah, and I found some snow foxes yeah it was pretty fun I well I bought like another player Lem Zem or I don't know how to pronounce his name but I was trying to tame the fo snow foxes and the dogs were kind of killing them yeah that was rough that, that was rough Anyway, so I, I found a couple that survived though, so I was able to try and get them. I started climbing up the mountain to try and reach them, and then uh, this happened. Alright, so that was the first boss fight of this video. That was that was pretty fun. I almost died. That that wasn't very fun. Anyway, got some cherries. I was going to take them to the snow foxes as as best I could. You know, try to do that and um, you know, started trying to chase them around and um, yeah, I, I I I don't know. I just I just ignore them. I I guess I don't know. I tried feeding them cherries, but they didn't get tamed, so I just ignored them. And I just was like, I'll come back later. Anyway, day 26. I found this actually really awesome hole. Like, here, here you'll see some of the footage. Some of the footage I got. Not not, not then, but, you know, now. It, it was still untouched, but, yeah. It, it looks amazing. Like, look at this. Look at this place. All the glowberries. This, this, all this stuff. The axolotls just swimming around. It actually looks like such a peaceful environment. It's like, and then you even go down into the lower levels, then you find, like, just all this, like, majesty. Like, look at these squids and the, all the fish just swimming in the ocean. Look at all these vines and just reaching down and into the caves and depths like, of the land. Like, it just looks so pretty. I, I wish I lived here, but, you know, my home is an oasis. Anyway. So, um, yeah, rather than, like, live here, I decided, let's get some materials here. And, uh, yeah, so I gained a lot of glowberries. Glowberries that I definitely, definitely use. Um, yeah, got some, you know, copper, got, I found an axolotl. You know, looked down into this, and, uh, yeah, I, I wasn't ready to go there yet. Got some iron, mm-hmm. And I even built a little cave for myself right here, so I can, you know, at least at least have like a little established base. I got some clay, not not the dream player. I, I got some actual autos. See, there you go. Told you I got some. And uh, yeah, there was this zombie here. I don't know why he was just in the water trying to murder me. And, uh, yeah, I got, got all my, um, iron. My, you can see my inventory is running out a lot. But I try my best to get as many as I could. Like, you know, axolotls and iron and, you know, all that stuff. All the stuff that is required for survival gameplay. Anyway, I got back out. It was snowing pretty cool. It was very, very cool snow. And I got some more axolotls. And then I got some more iron. And there was water here, so that was kind of hard to mine. Day 27, I went down. I went down into the abyss. I was pretty nervous. I was pretty nervous trying to go down. So, um, instead, 
I, uh, kind of just stared, uh, I guess. I don't know. I was kind of contemplating it, but, yeah, I still went down. Still went down trying to see what was down here. Anyway, so once I got down, took some fall damage, and, uh, yeah, a bunch of mobs started chasing me. It was, it was pretty, pretty wild. Pretty wild. I, I also went back up, made the water bigger, so I could at least, like, have an advantage and not fall to my death or something. Yeah, I got my bow out. It was a very good upgrade bow, so I just started firing at people. And I started putting torches down and exploring. It, it was very cool. See, look at this place. It, it looks, it looks pretty cool. I went back up though because I, you know, didn't want to die. And yeah, just started sniping a lot more mobs. Just a lot more mobs. Just just killing them all one by one. And yeah, this creeper tried to sneak up on me. It, it did, it did, because you know I took damage right there. But it was more so because that skeleton also hit me too. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, I'm sorry to fire them more, and, uh, I also got something cool out of this. Uh, I got another, um, you know, Minecraft disc. Uh, well, not another, this is my first one. Uh, anyway, uh, so I went that, I went back down. I, I went down into the mines, um, they started making a new strip mine down there. It, it was pretty cool, it was pretty cool. And, um, yeah, started going back down, you know, to the white Y level, and I saw the void. I, I don't know how. I guess the game just didn't load. Day 29. Uh, still kind of mining. Still just kind of mining. I think I ran into something and yeah, there's just a glow square in the wall. I'm guessing there's water there because there's a lava pool and obsidian. I don't know why I didn't up uh, mine the obsidian. I, I don't know why. And so, you know, just more water, glow squids, and started mining again. So, they just mine again. They just started playing this music, and yeah, I found diamonds. It's actually pretty cool finding diamonds like this. Yeah, see, look, right there. That one, and the, there was a second one right over there. Pretty cool, and since I have fortune, I got six out of just two diamond ores. Pretty nice. I found even more diamonds. And look, was... Pretty good here. Not not perfect. Not perfect. It, it definitely took a while. You can tell by the editing. But, you know, we're still able to get a good amount. Like 13. See? Anyway, so kept digging. Kept digging. And found more diamonds again. It was it was actually pretty cool finding diamonds down here. Like, I'm just going to tell you right now. Like, these diamonds I find down here last... Like, I'm st I still find more. Don't worry. But these guys last me till the end of this video. Day 30. More diamonds. See? I told you these things will last. I, I told you these things will last. Why did you not believe me? Like, look at me go. Look at me go. Find all these diamonds. Don't think I faked this. I, I, I honestly just went AFK when I was making that hole. But yeah. Look, hold, look, look at all these diamonds. Look at all of them. Just, just plopping in my inventory. I think I almost got to like full stack here. But, you know, I didn't, so I kept going. I really wanted that full stack. I found more diamonds. Oh, my God. More diamonds? Got, and I got a full stack. Yeah. That, that was pretty cool. Day 31. I saw that someone was selling um a Minecraft disc. And I asked, did they have wards for a particular reason that you'll find out in the future? That, that, that definitely, there definitely is no reason I asked for that one. But yeah, I asked for wards and uh, I asked Paolo to like TP to me. You know, just to, yeah, he said he had two, so I asked, he, you know, would TP to me and I would give him like my diamonds. Not all of them, I gave him about um, 10, but yeah, I got wards. So it's pretty cool. I, I, there's definitely is no reason I asked for that music disc. Yeah. Anyway, so uh, I was kind of just, you know, mining again, and I decided to leave. I, d I didn't want to stay here too much, so... And I have full stack of diamonds. I mean, like, a stack of five, but 
it was good enough for now. I didn't need any more. You know, just 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 mind my own business and didn't want to go back down and die and lose all of it. Anyway, day um thirty two, I headed back to the village. Again. You're gonna find me do that a lot a couple like a good amount of times. Just head back to the village after I get a, get a good day's worth. Put all that in the ender chest and I put wards especially in the ender chest. I don't want some I don't know, dream stuff happening. I heard there was like something with a music disc. Thing with like a music disc and wars and but yeah, I came I came back to that fire. Don't ignore that. I, I went back to the mining tunnel and everything, trying to empty out everything. And uh, yeah, putting everything in my inventories and stuff. Just so I can keep them safe. I definitely am gonna keep them safe. Day 32 day 33. 30, um just just sort of getting all the copper. Copper definitely doesn't take up a lot of inventory space, my goodness. And uh yeah, just trying to get all this stuff going. Look at all these diamonds. Look at all those diamonds. That fortune three pick would never made it so good. Anyway, so I started making a bunch of swords. I wanted to make a god sword. Wanna make a god sword? So I can make it look cool. And yeah, there's a bunch of lapis inside the chest, so I just got that as well. Anyway, so yeah. See as you can see, I'm at level 33. I'm sorry, I, I went back into the skeleton spawner. And uh, yeah, I was gonna go down and I noticed there was water down there. So uh I jumped yeah, see you see him jump down, so I went to jump down and Ignore that, ignore that. I, I definitely didn't die. I definitely didn't die. You, your screen did not see that. I definitely did die. Day tw day two, day, day, day four. I, this is definitely not the first take. Anyway, see, you can see I'm killing skeletons again. Jack Skellington, man, man. All these skeletons. I feel bad for Captain um, Jack um, Skelling. Well, God, I'm, I'm so good at jokes. I'm, I'm so good. I mean, look at look at all these skeletons. Just let's just look at the madness, the madness happening, the setting in and everything. Ah, man, look. I don't know why. I just you can see me. I'm trying to get my levels back up to you know the original amount, but my goodness, I I spend so long here like just killing skeletons. I I don't know why. I don't know why. They're not even like Endermen or anything. The, the, the skeletons, they, they, they only have meat on their bodies. They, they, what XP do they have? I, I don't know why. I don't I don't know why. I, I just needed a type of XP farm. And it was so hard because I would just have to constantly like, you see, like that. I had to constantly like refresh my iron swords and everything. I don't want to use the diamonds. I still need those for later. Yeah. It was just, it was just pretty, pretty sad. Honestly, I, I just wish I, I didn't have to kill these guys so much to get, get XP, but yeah, got, got back to my original. Day 33! Um, <laughs> I went back down. I, I came up, went back down. Oh man, D this is definitely the 100 days for you want to see, right? I just look at me go, this slaughter fest just happening. It is my goodness, it's remarkable. It is remarkable. Anyway, so I went, I went enchanting. I went enchanting. I had all these bows, so um, kind of easy. Yeah. So I started un unenchanting some stuff. Yeah. And uh, I unenchanted my sniper bow. I I don't know how I managed that. I I don't know how. I was just tired at that point, just killing all the skeletons. As you can see, I started enchanting some of my swords. Getting, I'm trying to get the god sword, so you know every single good enchantment, you know, you know sharpness, all, all the other enchantments. So yeah, kept doing that till the end of the day. So it was pretty cool. And uh, yeah, day 36, more enchanting. Honestly, again, I'm sorry about these first few days being sort of a bore fest, but like you have to start somewhere. You know that. You you have to start somewhere. And this is the place I'm starting. I mean, I built an anvil, see? Because I got looting three on that last sword, as you can tell. And, uh, yeah. 
after I'm making all this stuff. I don't know why I try to make an iron block, but I think I just try to make some space. But yeah, see, there you go. The God Sword right there. Day 37. I got some more XP. Yay. I, I skipped the skeleton farm part. You're welcome, everyone. Anyway, so came back. And uh, yeah, I had made a new sword. And yeah, I, this one has all the achievements now. So pretty cool. Pretty cool looking. I decided to name this uh, something pretty cool. I was going to name it the Orphanator again, like I always do. But I named it like the Light Before Oblivion. I don't know why. That, that name just sounded, that, that sounded very cool. I, I don't know why. Just sounded very cool. And uh, maybe maybe I'll do something with it in the future. Maybe that name will come up in some time. Anyway, so I, I saw this. I saw this. Just just withered Bonnie. His head just right there. And uh, yeah, this Zeus girl just sort of just showed up at my house. Just showed up out of nowhere. Just was staring at my chest. I, I tried making sure she didn't do anything. Day 38. Um, I got some dirt. I was trying to fill the hole that was there next to my house. But yeah, I'm still making diamond armor as well. You know, I need to get ready to upgrade that as well. And day 39, we went on an adventure. UV announced that he was going to fight the Ender Dragon. That stream, and um, yeah, you can see all the dogs we were prepared. So yeah, we, we went on an adventure trying to find where the heck this Ender Pearl was. I think he already marked it down. The end Pearl. He already marked it down. And we were just swimming. Like, see, look, we went to even like sunken ships, doing all this stuff. And like, I was running with mine, dude, because I was tired of swimming. And uh, yeah, after I lost him, I just made a new boat. That that was the best thing I could do. I even like broke it underwater. I don't know why I did that. But, yeah, we found the no, not the boat. We sort of just rested up there. I think he was just trying to find out where the heck it was. Yeah, see, look. He was trying to find where the heck it went, and uh, we found it. We found it eventually, and we went down. We headed down into the um, end portal shaft, and right on top of the end portal as well. Yep, so we're here. The end portal, and it's not working as you can see, because, you know, he didn't want people to just rush in and kill the dragon. He wanted to wait for everyone to get here, and yeah. Just listen to this ambience. As everyone started getting ready, someone tried to put the weather up, and um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know why. Anyway, so uh, we were just waiting. We were just still waiting. And uh, we, we reloaded the game. Yeah, don't don't ask me where I am. Just we reload reload the game there's too many people here we need to reload it but yeah i i kind of got trapped in the void anyway so here we are here we are yay time to fight the ender dragon
So yeah, that was a pretty cool fight. And see, look, Squid's here. And um, yeah, he left. You wanna know why? He stole the egg. He, he literally stole the egg. <laughs> that, that was pretty funny. Anyway, so as you saw, I got some dragon's breath during the fight and I was gonna give it to people. And yeah, I was, I was just sort of running around and um, this Enderman killed me. I, I don't know why, but Catalyst thankfully sp spared my stuff. And he actually gave some of it back as well. That's pretty nice of him. So I gave him one piece of dragon's breath. Probably should give him a lot more. But, you know, give him, give him a little bit. Anyway, he was the um, teleporter thing. And uh, I, I went back to the village. There was a reason for that, don't worry. But it was mainly because people were already in there. And I kind of just needed to get my stuff sorted out. I didn't want to lose everything. And, uh, and also, there's another reason. We came back. Everyone, dis someone destroyed everything. And uh, remember Zeus? Yeah, they they did it. They did it, and um, I went into my house and, oh boy, yeah, I was pretty mad. I, I I had to save my stuff, so I just got wood. I just got all these spru spruce. That's why I got. I got all these spruce planks, and uh, I didn't even care. I just uh, I just saw. Sort of <laughs> you see, I just yeah, I just did that got 33 chests because I was overcome. Uh, anyway, day 40. I spent like days trying to put this all back together, like put it back in a neat order. I, I'm surprised I know that they just stole and left with because, you know, I wouldn't ever get them back. But yeah, after I sorted my chest up, I teleported back the phone meal into the void. Just sort of traveling through there, you know? Like, like you know, old friends on the beach and whatever. Anyway, so we just started traveling and hey, see, look, I'm gonna teleport. Three, two, one, two, boom. Right there. Pretty cool teleportation, I say. Day 41, I logged back in and for some reason the void was just pitch black. It was just nothing. I don't I don't know why. I, I don't know why this happened. Like, look at this Enderman. Look at him. His, his look at his eyes. His eyes look like Gmod text errors. I don't know. Anyway, so um, I, I decided for some reason to travel through here for a little bit until I realized, hey, maybe I should just teleport back home and then teleport back to the end. I mean, it makes sense, doesn't it? So I teleported to Charles, who was over there at the time, and yeah. And look at this. There was an end city in front of me. Wow. Couldn't even see that. And not only that, not only was there an end city, but um, if I look over there, uh, right there, a boat. Yeah, so, um, Elytra time. Anyway, so, we broke in. We broke into the city. Do we even call this a city? Like, it's just, it's just sort of, it's just really small for a city, you know? I'm just bullying the shulker now. And he teleported. Anyway, so we started climbing up, trying to be careful. And, uh, thankfully these shulkers, oh, uh, I was about to say they had bad aim, but I, I guess they don't. They, they don't really have bad aim. They, they literally have aimbot, it just tracks your every movement. So yeah, we just sort of kept breaking in, kept getting flown into the air, having to wait, do all this, and Charles died next to me. D don't worry, he, he came back and got his loot. And we, yeah, we just killed the shulkers, you know, got all the shulker boxes. I, I might need to come back into the end to get some, some maybe some shulker boxes as you'll see later on. But yeah. Uh, we saw this room, the chaos room, the, every single NC has this, so it's not like this is unique to this one. And we just sort of put our shields up, hopefully floated to the top. It was, it was pretty rough. Like, like, even, like, Charles was struggling, look at him go, look at him with this Squid Games outfit. Yeah, at some point, I, I started flying in the air more, you know, getting more stuff. I had to even eat a golden apple. Yeah, remember that golden apple from earlier? I bought it, actually. I didn't forget about it, see? But uh, I had to buy it. I had to bring it with me. Anyway, so I got to the top and found a diamond helmet with mending. That that was a pretty good good find. I didn't have to waste that most on mending later on. But yeah, so just sort of waiting out here. We noticed the boat was pretty far away, and we didn't have any building blocks. Not much, at least. So, um, you know, we just sort of decided, uh, I, I trusted Charles to teleport us over there, and he did. He used an ender pearl, you didn't see it, so I forgot to put it in the forge, but yeah. He, we got over there. We got over there, and, uh, yeah, there was a shulker and elytra. 
It's pretty cool. We got a light show before the drought started because if you know anything about big servers, there's, there's a drought in a lot of materials very early on. Day 42. I headed back instantly to the house. I did not want to lose that elytra. Charles was, you know, pretty fine there. But it wasn't only because of that. I was running out of food, and as you can see, my health was just just depleted. And I came back, and uh, as you can see, my loot had been um, pillaged. Like, even my axolotls weren't safe. That's just sad. I, I hate that so much. So I had to... So sort of, he's told me to reset, but I decided I did I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to lose like 14 levels, so I, I just killed a bunch of sheep. It was uh, why sheep? They, they don't even they, cows would have been much better, but I, I guess I could have killed more sheep than cows, so I would have had a net benefit or whatever. Anyway, so um, I cut all that. Charles was still okay. I, I was thinking. Uh, I I I mean I I think guess he's okay. So yeah, so someone stole my coal as well, which is kind of rough. At least I had some spare coal and everything. I, I got the mine coat and yeah, teleport back. Gave me some coarse food, but I didn't want to eat that really. Because, you know, teleporting around with it. Anyway, so we kept exploring the place. Get, getting more shulkers as we went. Got a banner, but it fell, so um, yeah, I'm just going to ignore that. Anyway, so we had a plan. We tried to get to the other side of the thing, but it was very hard. So I was saying... Hey, let's just, you know, use an underpearl for something. But I, I went back to the house to drop something off. And, you know, just to just to relax, you know, get that banner going. Um, yeah, anyway, yeah, got all the diamonds set as well. And Charles said he was leaving at the time. No, uh, yeah, he said he was leaving. If so, um, he, well, he said he was leaving soon but after this plan. So we, we put this plan to initiation. And, uh... It failed. I'm just gonna say it failed. Ignore this. I gave Charles his diamonds and just headed home. It, it failed tremendously. He fell to his death. It was a. It was just a wild thing. But just just gonna ignore that for now. But yeah, I I just headed back. And uh, yeah, someone. I was still pretty mad. Someone looted my stuff. But hey, look. At least I have shulker boxes. Shulker boxes, the best thing Minecraft has ever created, and, and I guess until the bundle came out. But I mean, the bundle doesn't do too much that shulkers do. So, hey, hey. anyway, I went to the village trading post. They made a village thing, and yeah, see, look, mending book. Day 43, um, just sort of just walk, walking around, walking around, just, just, just sort of just, just doing this, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm just kind of sort of walking around, you know, just in the village. I, I don't know. Anyway, so I'm at the Enderman farm now. The, yeah, someone made the Enderman farm. That, that's pretty helpful. I mean, it's a, it's a whole, whole lot better than the, the, everything we had to go through with the skeleton farm. You know, see, look, look how cool this sounds compared to the skeleton. See, look at this. Yeah, we'll hear this. Yeah, see, look at that. I'll hear it. Yeah, it just hear it. It just sounds so cool. Look at this. I hear it. God, it's, it, that, that sweeping, that sweeping damage is, is so good. It's so good. But yeah, I do feel bad though. Just killing, I don't know, relatives? I don't know. I haven't watched, I haven't watched some Game Theory's videos in a while. I, I don't know. I forgot what the theory is. Uh, are they like a relatives or something? Anyway, so I so I just went back and forth between Oasis and doing all this stuff, just trying to get as many levels as I could while also enchanting as much as I could. So I, I tried to get the best armor. So like one of each like custom enchant. So as you can see, helmet, projectile, chest protection, legs, blast damage, and then uh, lava feet like boots and all that whatnot. Yeah, try to get the best of it. Um, as you can see, my luck was very bad, though. So, yeah. Anyway. Started, like, um, just waiting here. I had to watch with other people um, to also, you know, get XP. So, yeah, as you can see, it sort of took a long time. Because Sino and Violet just sort of just, just here. Getting a bunch of XP. I, I, I had to wait a long time, as you can tell. 
I, I don't know why. I, I just had to wait. It, it, you'll see how long I had to wait. Anyway, day, day 44. Um, oxygen. Yeah, he also came to the farm as well. But since he was there, I could leave real quick. I left and got to, you know, drop off some of my stuff while also enchanting. So, yeah. Uh, I, I tried enchanting, you know, small amounts, a little bit at a time. Well, I saw that the enchants didn't work, though. I just went for one instantly. You know, de-enchanted. And came back. Yeah, this still didn't work. I, I didn't get any blast protection. Day 45, just sort of killing one of the men. I, I, I don't know why. I just kill him one of them and if, if option just helped me. Day 46, more endermen deaths. Again, I, I just spend a long time at this endermen farm. As you can see, my um, XP is going up. That is because I decided to uh, wait till I get to level 60 to head back. So I, I didn't want to like, risk it, so I just decided, you know, level 60 is uh, is uh, good enough. You know, so, um, yeah, as you can see, Killing the whole lot of stuff. Oh boy, that, that's rough. Day 47, <laughs> more end of deaths. It, it, to, to a point where I used my axe. The, 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 the most inefficient method of killing endermen, I, I used an axe. Oh, an endermen for an endermen, but yeah. It, it, was, it was a slaughter. It was just, look at this. It's just rough. Oh my god. Day 48, I went back finally. I got to level 60, which is pretty cool if you do say, if I do say so myself. Yeah, I say so. Yeah, so got got all the levels I needed. It was raining too. I guess it was pretty just you know drowsy that day. Whatever. So yeah, um, so it's just sort of <laughs> looked at this under chest for like 10 minutes and uh, started enchanting a lot more stuff, trying to get my legs perfect, you know. Them fabulous and everything with like blast protection and whatnot, and yeah, see, there you go, I got it. Oh, yeah, and I could just get rid of the other two, honestly, but eh, I decided to like, try and keep them. I was just contemplating a bunch of stuff because I was just super excited. Anyway, so yeah, so I'm enchanting my boots now so I can get the full stuff, and um, yeah, see, there you go, Death Strider. And play it cool. I'm gonna try and get like I don't know soul speed and mending and, and all that whatnot in the future. But right now feather falling as well, and it was just perfect. Day forty nine, I built a diamond axe. I realized that you know maybe I want a diamond axe as well. Get all the good enchants, you know. So yeah, I got that. Made you know a bunch of the enchants I needed. Some of them were worthless, so I just went for ones, and the other ones were very cool. As you see, my level started dwindling down, but hey, at least I got Fortune 3 on it. And, uh, yeah. And then even this one, Fortune 2 somehow. I went for it, and yeah, it was it was a good deal. Not great, but it was a good one. I, I built my axe, but I was way too low a level. So, uh, yeah. Day 50. Uh, I teleported over... Yeah, see, teleported over here. I heard that UV was going to try to beat the Wither on his stream, so I decided to try and prepare. So I asked Auction, can I borrow his armor? Because, guess what? There's an achievement. Not only do you get one Iron Ingot, you also get four Debris, so which means you get two Netherite. I mean, not... I meant Netherite Ingot, you know what I mean. Anyway. Day 51, um, as you can see, the tower kind of changed. Um, but yeah. So I was just like, just hanging back down to the Enderman farm, about to kill a bunch of people again. And um, yeah, just just started murdering a bunch more Endermen. Things were looking pretty good. 
uh, we were, you know, preparing for the Wither event, and he said he wanted to do a raid to stream as well, like a massive raid on Oasis. It was gonna go pretty well. I started fixing my enchants again and doing all that stuff, and yeah, it was looking pretty good. Pretty good. Like, look, look at all this stuff. Look at all this stuff. I even made another right hoe because I uh, not a another right hoe, but a diamond hoe because I wanted to make another right hoe. See, everything was going as planned. And as I, you know, kept slaughtering even more endermen, I had to go eat. So uh, I went to um, pause my game and I paused my recording. And um, day 52, um, yeah, I, I, I lost the footage. I kept it on pause during the entire event. Luckily for me, um, UV uploaded his stream on his VOD channel. So I downloaded that thing and um, just saying, make sure to check out UV Black. Like he's he's one of my friends. He's he's a streamer. He he kind of inspired me and he's he's a pretty cool dude. You you should make sure to check him out. In fact, Subscribe to him and then subscribe to me. Then like you know, do all that stuff. But anyway, yeah, he he was streaming it and I was able to get a clip. But uh, he here's the he also he did a weather event. So yeah, during that like that's day fifty three. He did sort of a weather event. It there wasn't too much to it, but the way it part of the event now that's what things get interesting. And um, yeah, I. Just again, huge shout out to him. I'm using his footage, but here is the craziness that happened during that. No, ratio, get that. There's so many of them. Ah! No. Odin, help me. Odin, bring the lightning. Thor! Aid in my doom and my, my, their demise. There I am, Gary, there I am! Oh my god, that was intense. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm actually gonna throw a TV on it. So you guys Get out of here. They call it Sleeping Edge. Say hello. Nice stuff. Now you're dead now. But you lose. Thank you. Oh my god, there's more of you. I need more. I need more totems. I'm dying. I need more totems. Ah, but.
Day 55, so um, since we saved the village from the um, Renegade Raiders, now there was sort of a, like, you know, bargain sale and everything, you know, heal the village sales. But yeah, so I got a bunch of mending books since they were very cheap at the time, so that was pretty nice. I started to also soil my inventory, and uh, I don't know where I got the Wither Skull, don't ask. But anyway. I made my um, netherite hoe that I tried to do before, and um, as it turns out... Yeah, there's no achievement for it. I, I don't know. But, eh, at least I have bragging rights now for having one. Anyway, so I started like looking through my chest and ended up um, going back to the Enderman farm. Sort of just you know, trying to get a bunch of levels again. Killing a bunch of Endermen, I feel bad still. And uh, then I started to upgrade my armor, see? Put like thorns and mending on all of them. I also, um, I also called them the, um, armor of content, like, you know, boots of content, legs of content, all that what- uh, all that whatnot. Day 56, I made my uh, max out shovel as well. And I would start putting enchants on it as well, and yeah. I was contemplating what to call it, so I just went for the excavator since, you know, it's a shovel, it digs dirt, whatnot. I, I know it's kind of dumb, but anyway, I also upgraded my axe, gave it mending, and... Got an achievement for it. It's pretty nice. Day 57. So I was just killing more them, and you know, I was trying to get a lot of levels this time. And that's really it. That's really all I did. Day 58. I'm also still killing Endermen. Again, I, I do this a lot mid-days. Sorry. But again, killing more Endermen. And uh, day 59. Again, killing more Endermen. I'm so sorry for the Endermen population. Day 60. I went back to the Oasis and... I realized I wanted more axolotls because, you know, I lost mine from before, so I went to, um, um, Bottle's, like, you know, axolotl farm, and I got a bunch of them back. So yeah, that was pretty neat. Day 61, I put them all in a shulker box and then put it inside my, you know, ender chest, just in case anything will happen. And I started another deforestation campaign to get a bunch of sticks so I can basically just give this villager thousands of sticks. So I can, you know, get more emeralds from mending. The hero of the village thing ran out so that sucked, but eh, I was still able to get mending for very cheap. Day 62. Uh, I went back out. It, it, really, I was just like walking around, that's it. I got a bunch of wood, but I kind of broke some trees um, nearby Ziggy's mansion. So that that kind of sucks. I did not realize that. So I gave him back all the saplings. I, I kind of regret saying this. I just gave him all the saplings and said, hey, deal with it. But I really should have helped. That, that's my bad. Day 63. I gave my elytra unbreaking and also mending. So now it's a... Fully maxed out one. I also named it the uh, Wings of Content. I definitely won't change that name later for the uh, texture pack thing or anything. Anyway, but yeah, so I had a uh, maxed out thing, and that was pretty cool. And then I started exploring again. Um, just went out trying to find out different things around the land. And really, just to like explore since I hadn't done that in a while. Just like legitimately explore. Then I found this place, the Monolith. Pretty weird. I don't know what's here, but I kept killing a bunch of creepers and spiders. I got actually a bunch of stuff from this because, you know, looting and everything. Got like a bunch of gunpowder that actually helped me a lot with the fireworks. I also got obsidian, so that was pretty cool as well. Day 64. I decided I wanted to use all the gunpowder I got to make a bunch of fireworks. So, I got my elytra ready and went out to explore. And I really was just curious because I remember Prague said that her city was at the borders of the of the server, so I wanted to try and find it. So I just decided to go one direction rather than sweep the entire border. And yeah, 
kept going and going. I found this like cool ice place as well. So that was actually pretty cool. Honestly, it looks pretty cool. I, I'm surprised I never built anything here. I went back here recently. I might actually, you know what? I should do that. Anyway, day 65. I got a bunch of coal because I kind of realized that I needed that back at the house. I found this ruined portal. There was nothing good. Literally nothing good. Only the obsidian part, I guess, is good. But yeah, it that armor just sucks. Except for the thorns and mending part. Anyway. I went back out exploring, the server was like trying to load everything, and I almost ran into that mountain village right there. Honestly, it looks pretty cool as well. I'm surprised I didn't go back. It is really one of the coolest places. Anyway, I almost ran into that mountain as well. And just waiting for the server to load. And then I went outside the map. Yeah, this is the border right here. This is the border of the map if I go this direction at least. It's pretty interesting. You saw like all those animals, but yeah, it's pretty interesting and I just started exploring this cave and went back the opposite direction So, you know, I didn't go through the border again. Yeah, kept building and building underground Honestly, it was pretty fun. I was able to get a, a lot of exploring done Day 66, I found an um, amethyst shield. I think that's what they're called. So yeah, I executed um, Order 66 on it and decided to mine the entire place down. I got a whole lot of amethyst and I actually almost fell down into lava right um, here. Yep, there it is. There was a lava pool right underneath this. That was kind of bad. So I had to cover that thing up. Yeah, I mined out the entire place and had so many emeralds. Thank goodness I bought a shulker box. Um, amethyst, jeez. That's so much and thank goodness I bought a shulker box. After this moment, I took a break off the server. I was still very upset at losing the footage for the, you know, the raid event. But while it was gone, there was loads of stuff that happened. You see, there's a bunch of different factions on this server. There's Maryland without Baltimore. There's the Oasis, and then there's the Deadlands cult. For some reason, they decided to serve some weird god figure, and Term is their leader. I don't know anything about who this god figure is, but they are hostile towards Oasis and built their city, land, their cult, or whatever. They built it right next to Oasis on a separate island. Honestly, you wouldn't want to mess with them, I'll say that. This Deadlands cult apparently has been doing stuff for a couple weeks. I took a break for like a month or two, but they've been doing stuff for a couple weeks. And they even sent UV a sort of message. A message to meet him in their meeting room during, you know, um, his stream. And they've been, um, you know, sharing some lore and everything, getting the server hyped. So I will appreciate that, but they are messing with Oasis, which may might be my future town. I said I was running for mayorship, so I knew that we had to stop them. So I decided to log on to the server and join in on that meeting. Day 67, I joined back to the server and teleported to, well, Oxygen, but basically to UV as well. Yeah, I just teleported here, and they were in the middle of the meeting, and the meeting place was being held at, the, like, this dragon head that they built. It looks pretty cool, I will admit. And I, I, I will congratulate the person who made this, but yeah, anyway. So we sort of had a meeting. I don't know exactly what it was about. They had it in a voice call that I wasn't a part of. Oh, I, I didn't realize they were in a voice call. So I, I should have joined, but sadly I forgot. Anyway, so they were just discussing stuff, jumping around. Uh, I don't know exactly what they were doing, but they were sort of just doing random stuff. And I decided to sort of just leave to explore the town. 
So I exited the like dragon head and it was raining so there, it was very scenic. And while I was doing that there was there, um, there was this town that I went to exploring. And honestly, I, I don't know how, it just looks really cool. I know they're the bad guys, but you have to admit, it, it does look pretty cool. Day 68, we sort of just left. I'm guessing they disagreed on something, or we didn't make a full deal. While we were leaving, someone played this 13, so that was pretty, that was pretty, um, pretty cinematic, honestly. So yeah, we went to the bridge to cross over. You know, remember that bridge I mentioned? There it is. Yeah, we crossed over and yeah, there's TNT on the bridge. I'm guessing he's gonna do something with that. Yeah, he definitely is gonna do something. Day 69. Nice. Anyway, I teleported to turn the gamer to try and mitigate the situation. And Ziggy was also there, so I tried to strike a deal with him, them. And you'll see. And all my axolotls are gonna die. Come to, oh, I have to... Oh man, this is gonna be a huge project to all right. fix. All, all right. of this. I have an offer. So what exactly happened to me? I didn't really, you know, oh, tune in oh, too fast, oh. so I need like a little rundown. But I do have an offer. All right. Well, I have an offer. Um, speaking of which, just saying, just saying, don't try and do any uh, funny Wait. business, okay? But... Should I get the music bot up and go in term? Fine. No. Also, we're oh. we're still in peaceful state right now. We're yeah, I know, but you tomorrow. could do some funny business. That's you could, like, trap me into a room. You feed. You're starting the war exactly tomorrow. Mm. Tomorrow, okay. That, that is a this bad timing too. because I'm starting my election campaign then. So, I have an offer for you guys. Wait, you wait, see? wait, 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 guys, hold up. I want to get the music started. Come on. I have an offer for you, all of you guys, okay? Mm. Okay, so I'm, again, running for my uh, mayorship and everything. So, so exactly why do you guys want to destroy Oasis? Listen, yeah. first off, Basically I'm a nation of my own. He's he's a crazy crack over there. I'm a nation of my own. Alright, why are you why are you helping him then? Is it... I'm not really helping, I'm just being paid to renovate this whole room. That's kind of my whole job. People pay me, I make oh, yeah, money. I need, I need to get that nether right. You're better boy. They're actually not. You nether. guys don't seem like the very, very civilized folk, you know? Well, he is, and I'm more civilized. I actually... Nah, uh, he definitely well, aren't, assuming you're working civil. for him. But uh, I, I digress, I digress. I care more about keeping, you know, being civil. And like, how, again, I don't get why you're helping him out then, but you know I'm how I'm not he really helping him. him, it's just I'm getting paid at this point. Hmm... Okay, you know what, I have to ask some questions here, right now. So what is that, what type of cult is this, because They're I- They're basically a cult that believes in a god that, um, is basically like, baguette, which can control everything, even on the server. So why is it? Okay, well. Yeah. Weird, because I've actually interacted with that thing before, but I, I, I digress. Uh, it's, it's really not that special. Yeah. I, I, no, no, I, I know, I, I know some deep dark secrets of this SMP, okay? I've been through the caves for years, Man. and I've, I've known all this stuff. I've... And I can tell you, it is not anything special. Anyways, let's get back on topic. I mainly get paid. Actually, wait, no, I don't from Terra. I don't know why I'm helping him. Maybe because we signed a contract, or that's why. Oh. Uh, I guess you could say so when he so when he really murders every single person in Oasis, you'll just bat you won't bat an eye to it. You'll ignore it. Listen, there's some things he doesn't know that I have in store for him. First off, I've met the Lord himself. Guy's crazy. They're determined seeking blood from his eyes, which should mean he actually should have died. Secondly, um, the Lord hates me to all hell. Term doesn't know it. Term forgets anything that um, the Lord takes over him. So, you know. I have my own plans in store to, you know, overthrow him. He wants to take over Caxwell Mine Nation at some point. Well, okay then. You just have an entire world map. Yeah, they do. Anyways, um, yeah, so what Term is playing is a full on, you know, swooping from here. And have also lines come from this direction, this direction, and this hang direction. Hang on, hang on. Does he have alliances everywhere? Like, what? Is it only this This has powerful members, believe me. Uh, uh, no, you... I've met them. I destroyed a lot of this place before you guys established it, and you guys yeah, just brutally tortured me. Yeah. Well, 
Oh, I didn't. I'm not even really. Part well, now, okay, now Bully tortured me, but I literally just gave you back the season and I told you guys to plant it yourselves. But, anyways, I'm really, you know, not part of this. Mm, I think you guys have. Oh, I mean, the thing is, you're, you're a complex then. So. I mean, yeah, I'm trying to. I've been separated, though, for a little. for like a long time, actually. The thing is, though, if we do win, I will count you as an accomplice. You won't be. You won't but be on the same punishment as them, but you I'm will be on the I'm not really conflict. here. I'm not really um, participating in this war, actually. I think it's term doesn't know I'm kind of all ties with supplying the war effort. But at least UV is a nice guy. I like him. I'm planning to supply him instead with stuff he needs. Like what exactly? Anything from rockets to TNT to cool on, you know, um... Probably weapons of mass destruction like and the whole cult and under a heartbeat. Mm. Okay. Hey, well, real quick question though. Why is there TNT on the bridge? He has mines. Uh, I see. He's about. Is he about to blow it up to separate the lands? He's gonna have it where you know, um, you guys can't come in here at all. Uh, okay. Here's why I say, when this war starts, if we win, we will conquer this entire land and destroy every single trace of it. All right. I'll help you out with that. Actually, right. I wish I had a book with on me. We can sign a contract right here and now. All right. And when I win my mayorship, I if anyone blames you for this incident, I will relinquish all all that. Well, I, I will here's clear the funny thing. Originally, I helped out with the bridge, technically. So I own 50%. So if ever you know term gets cuckoo crazy, decides that um, well if the Lord ever technically comes and tries to kill us all, I can blow blow a path to this bridge. Leaving, you know, the army kind of stranded. Yeah, and then they'd be a disadvantage, I see. Mm -hmm. But they're planning to come from here, here, and Wait, here. that's where my house is? Oh, crap. They're gonna swarm all four directions, push in, and crush the center of it, and take uh. the capital building, which is this, Ubi's Tower. I guess it's a good thing I have all my good stuff in my under chest. And it's actually, if bad. I'm right, they have an underground tunnel that comes from all the way from where we are. To where this little circle is. Hmm. All right, I'm going to try and inform this to UV for the war strategy. Actually, I would like to tell UV too. I want to sign a contract with him if I can. You know, hmm. all of that. I'm willing to help you guys out at any cost. Also here, compensation for a term, kind of. You know. No thanks. Uh, I don't really need animals, but thank you. Oh, so this is his old, like his whole armor room. That's why I said I'm, I'm sure we're ready for war. There's uh, literally nothing in here except melons. This is literally only his profit. Oh man, this guy is actually crazy. But you see, my mansion—they want to use my mansion as a as a waypoint. So the thing is, I'm gonna have to go alone with this if we're gonna fool them. So I'm gonna let them hide um hide on the basement for a while. But I'm gonna let you and UV know, for you guys can corner them. No, any okay. troops are there but um it, the trees would have been nice if we still had them because you know protection mm. i am yeah. starting wait he no um, he just messaged me he's starting the war right now starting the war boys uh, um uh, uh, wait, message you wait hang on hang on i was negotiating peace trees hang on hang on yeah wait we should get uv in this discord server again. yeah come on come on i was literally negotiating yeah, peace trees I, with ziggy I, come I, on I, man I, Okay, get... oh. okay, good. Okay, um, let's head back to let's get term out of here again. I am I'm building fucking barriers in a way. So crap. Right. Uh, I barrier. don't wait, Ziggy. I don't have my stuff. There was in the Where? they were in the ender chest. The Where? ender chest. Oh. Our ender chest got destroyed. Wait, wait, is it always happening? I don't see anything happening. He's... Hello? Um, UV, we have a problem. First off, Term is moving up defenses into Oasis. He's yeah. I noticed those. Um, um, he might be getting TNT ready. He asked for a flint and steel from him. And uh, UV, we've devised a plan, but we're gonna need to, you know, defend this place. Also, I he... already contacted allies. We have, like, all of the biggest colonies on the server on our side. There's also four tunnels underneath Oasis that go on to each side of the place. I believe his it. Plan, his plan, if I'm right, is to push inside. Basically, push to the tower and keep you all in there till you fall, or until it's destroyed, something like that, you know. 
gonna okay. fight this man. He's big on Also, he believes mallets are currency and there's fire and ice. He believes what's currency? Melons. He's already, if you go into Mel his war melons? room, he already has just a stack of melons everywhere. I'm like, so they are Mormon. <laughs> they are literally much. like just dumb, okay? That's like, oh god, yeah, Tom's yeah. setting the place on fire. Oh yeah, the place. yeah here we go. He, um, he got another racket and setting on fire. The streets are on fire. It's pure the streets chaos. are on fire. Oh my gosh, we we're in also, Chicago. <laughs> we also devised a plan, which is I'm gonna let some cult members in my basement for you guys can uh, well, basement of my mansion for you can push in then and trap any cult members in there. That's the plan for right now. Alright, so thank you for calling me into, into this uh, VC. Mm, I'll do a little bit of planning. Starting war, probably. You know, just trade ores and stuff. All ores equal to a specific amount. And you it's... know what would be a cool currency? What? Um, silk touched ores. True. Because you can't duplicate those, there's no yeah, farm those for there. those. You'd need, like, there would, there would be a set amount from the beginning, and that would be the set currency. There'd be no inflation, yeah. no problems there. That'd be awesome. Mm -hmm. I thought of that a while ago. Thank you. I appreciate it, Ziggy. Mm -hmm. Also, if I get murdered now, this, um, I'm coming back with 25 grenades and a nuke. And a nuke. Just... Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Not our city, right? Not your well... city. I'm going to come back and nuke away. <laughs> so, so... Oh, no. I got to go. Oh, term, term. Stay away. Okay. I gotta face you a term. I think he's gonna try to murder me. All right. Good luck. Have fun with the uh, term. All right. Oh, I'm God, gonna go JK me. as well. I think. All right. Adios. After leaving UV's call and everything, it turned nighttime, and I sort of went around the oasis, trying to get one last memory before this battle that was gonna happen. But not right now. But you can see that term's preparing. He's setting fire to the streets, so it just being becoming an arsonist like all this fire on the roads and i just knew we had to prepare palor is straight dripping dude he has upset of the all right there we go now. yep so what do you want to show me random uv oh. person oh yeah Ren i've never met me never met the guy in my life anyway so i've been doing a little bit of manufacturing and setting up some suits for the town and you are not wearing netherite right now so get over here get over here get over here oh, hold up back up back up v. I'm gonna drop it here Scoozy, JK. I need oh. to drop it down. The lag just got really bad for me. Oh, move. Grab a, grab a, grab a set. Oh, Jesus. Okay, wow. These are at Oasis Warhelm? Okay, crap. Okay. Oh, oh yeah, I'm fully kitted oh, out. Wow. Right. All right, I'll get this back after, don't worry. Uh, me, me, Oxygen, and Vibing have, Holy like, crap. five spare sets that aren't <laughs> never right. Oh, I, I wish I had more shulkers. I have one. By the way, when you play shulkers in the street and break it, can make sure to till the the ground again so it doesn't look like it's like dirty. Uh, <laughs> um, have I have a well. Hang on. Shovel. Have, Shovels yeah. do it. Yeah. Milkman got gotcha. you. Final. Finally, I have another way. I'm the most I'm the powerful man. man alive. The milk is delicious. <laughs> okay, finally, someone made the. Uh... I'm gonna gain. Oh, by the way. The set that I'm wearing is an Oasis War set too. I didn't want to wear my own private armor because I thought it'd be cool to match the people who have the also the the the, I... the military gear essentially. Oh yeah, the military uh... gear. So while I was getting gear and everything, Auction gave me a sword, and I already had a perfect sword and everything. So it's pretty weird that he gave me it. And but yeah, he just gave me one, so I decided to keep it. He he wanted me to keep it, so that was all right. And so I had to go to a villager to f try and find, you know, the last upgrade for it. I forgot what it was exactly. But I had to get one more upgrade to it. Anyway, so I ended up um, putting the book. Yeah, that's what it was. It was not back. I ended up naming the sword um, the Oblivion Before Light. You know, the opposite of the Light Before Oblivion. But yeah, hopefully, may maybe one day it will come back in some more way. Day 73, it was the night, like two nights before the war, so he sort of just stood around getting ready and everything. Day 74, we all stood around and UV inspected our skins while also giving us bundles. I don't know when these were released, but yeah, we got some bundles, so that was pretty cool. I, 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 I kind of don't know how to use them too well, so I just put it inside my under chest. I lost my netherite chest plate so that was weird but I got a new set of armor so that was nice UV was very um very generous to give me another one I got a bleeding axe as well I don't know where I got this from and there's a flying boat 
Yeah, the ultimate artillery strike that we're going to use against the Deadlands call. Yeah, just flying boats everywhere. Just, I, I don't know. I don't know what that was. I sort of went around exploring. I was getting ready for this war. And there was something I needed to do. You see, I don't know what's going to happen to me. I don't know. Well, at the time, I didn't know what was going to happen. So I... I wrote a book about myself, about something, some important information people should know. If ever my soul gets corrupted, strike me down with a light that shines before oblivion. Then let that light shine on a new day. And now was the time, the time for war. Day 76. All the troops gathered. It, this was it, the battle between Oasis and the Deadlands. Terms armies started marching through the city. They set up like a like outpost, command post, whatever. They set up and were getting ready. UV's armies were also getting ready. You can see me in the left hand corner. Hey, look. But yeah, we were all getting prepared. Some people decided to spectate or like help out slightly. But yeah, either way, this every everyone was inside this battle. And here we are. The final battle of this video, the one that will decide the fate of Oasis. Will it continue to prosper, to hold more people, to become the Oasis it was destined to be? Or will it fall to the power of a one-eyed god? Time to find out. Stop talking. These little war comms. We're not joking around in here. I'm trying to. Okay, well, uh, they're attacking. They're attacking. Oh, crap. Okay, we're gonna have two groups. We're gonna have All right, war started. War started. Started. Get up there. Oh, there's a frog. Wait, that's frog. That's frog, damn. I'm gonna close the tunnel. Yeah, as much as I want to watch it, I need to see. Oh god, what's going on? Oh, Tom! He's back! Run! Bro, he's not. How's he alive again? Oh god! Oh my god! Oh! Run! He's close to this is a true final battle. Go! Oh crap, I, I heard that. Wait, where? Fall back! Fall back! I'm on top of the hole! The frog was. Get! Wait, where the heck? Wait, hang on. Which team is Mosquito on? Which team is Mosquito on? Which team is Mosquito on? Yeah, we're on the roof. We're just chilling. Get off the roof and help! I can't! Edits will leave me personally murdered. Why you just cut edits? And he's trash! What tier is Mosquito on? Come on. How did that... Come on. Here we go. Come on. I'm being a soldier on the first degree. Come on, Ziggy. Come on. I can't tell who is the coldest. Come on, Ziggy. Go. Let's go. There you go. Eric. Oh, you look muted the whole time! Did I get hostile? Did the friends that I get hostile? Yes, I'm getting term, I'm getting term, I'm getting term. I get his hostile. They're in McDonald's. They're in McDonald's. I got him with one health. Oh my god. Get back here! 
I'd go for Snake on this one. Uh, Actually, who wants to go to the basement McDonald's with me? Hunter. Oh, oh Jarvis Jack. Oh, that's pretty safe in there. McDonald's first game. Bro, I saw him yeah. going. I'm hopping back down. Oh my Bro, I god. Oh, I survived oh, yeah. this Edo at yeah, one health. Still good. It's Wait, really? Someone's using Prot X. Yeah, that's what I guess he's using. He's using Prot X when he leather armor. Oh my god! Hang on, isn't Edit's on his own team? No, Edit's is Let's go! With your Let's go! Edit, you suck! He's alive! God, what? I did it so alive, that's so alive. We used the haul on him. How does he have enchanted golden apples? Um, because he's in curry. I don't care. I just bought. I just bought. Oh shoot! That's what end crystals. We went end crystals. Bro, I I ran out of end crystals. I'm gonna watch from. I might as well watch from the tower. Oh my god! Dude, he's dude. They're flash. Oh, that's Don't mind the guy oh, on the roof. Back <laughs> Don't mind me on the roof. Don't mind me. I'm not in here. I'm not in The darkness will begin to settle, and the sun will begin to rise. We had pushed back all of their forces, and now we knew that we had the advantage. Until this moment. Artillery strikes from the tower had started to attack our wounded army. We had to push back and destroy the artillery cannons. As we pushed towards the artillery, sadly, not everything was safe. They had attacked the tower, destroyed the beacon of Oasis. By the end, it was nothing but rubble. Day 79, we decided it was time, we would charge into the Deadlands, they had destroyed their bridge though, so we decided to, you know, just wait out and start building. As we charged into the Deadlands, there was um, ultimately one small issue, they forgot to turn PvP on. Run, run, oh my god!
can Hunter just die? Oh my! Like, why Hunter is just that? What is? Swim. What's in here? In the pit. What's in here? Get him in the pit. Wait, I'm in the pit. No. Wait, I'm in the pit. He's staying. He's headed for the pit. He's going for the pit. I'm in the pit. Good. Come in. Come in. He's coming, dude. Pay attention. Why are you guys shooting me? My goodness, I can't see. How is he still alive? I'm confused. He's literally been hit like 15 times. Like 20 times. I have oh, really a god choice. Oh, oh my god. god. Oh. Keeps eating golden. Oh. Isn't Ooh, my head head this is like how much? Oh, he's teleporting away. He's teleporting away. Put into this mansion. <laughs> oh, okay. Hey, what mansion? Wait, it... Did you say you're on oh, fire? My... Why is everybody going on to my room? What the bloody hell? Because he's on there, bro. Deadlands. You want the gel? Guys, guys, if you want revenge, then we have to charge the. Oh my god, they're literally burning your house down. Dude. <laughs> no! No! Oh my god. Good thing fire spreads Hunter is almost dead. I can tell he's running. Oh my god. We're going to get him. Let me get UV here. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no. I'll get UV here, yeah. Why? Can we honestly get a fire? Fire. We put on fire. fire man. No, yeah, I'm on the water. Fire. Guys, Charles. Charles the land. You can't own that roof when you put out the fire, man. Yeah, I put Scott put out the fire. Guys, I'm going to. I'm, the, I'm your personal fireman. I'm scaling the house. I'm scaling the base. Oh yeah. god! Oh. SCP, he put them there. It's actually a whore! The fire was there before. Guys, get- Oh crap, oh crap, I'm not getting into oh, it. The roof is on fire! Oh my god! Oh, that lightning! Oh. I'm helping, I'm helping, I'm helping. It's six for How is he about three days. I don't even know why I took that one. No, no don't let the, the fire burn. Is this fire is permanent. Oh, oh, that's the why I don't want it there. I'll put up fire. As we begin to win over the Deadlands cult, their place was in ruin. Houses being burned down and trees being burnt to crisp. I started my charge on the dragon head, knowing that there was a battle there between UV and Term. Miguel was also there attacking me for some reason. I f forgot if he was on the team or not, but yeah. This was it. The battle that would decide everything. As we started to take out Terms' power, there was one other thing he had planned. Terms decided to spawn in not one, not two, not three, but ten Withers. All of Oasis was being overrun by the power of Withers. They had planned this out, led us into the Deadlands so they could attack with their Wither Clump. Although I was trying to hold them back and everyone else was trying to as well, it was sort of hard with, you know, people also attacking you at the same time and not really trying to help. As you can see, it was just chaos around us. The Wither started to advance into the middle of Oasis, trying to cause even more destruction. They yeah, started to spawn in hundreds of relentless warriors to also attack Oasis. 
and then they even spawned in an entire zombie horde. Slowly we were able to destroy these relentless warriors, mainly because they got bored and just left to fight. There was chaos all throughout the streets as they tried to get my armor to fly away and everything. There was so much chaos. I decided to push up to, into the village of building and UV also had the same idea as he got his firework bow and firework crossbow as he started laying siege onto the Deadland soldiers down below. Hunter had gotten onto the building and luckily we were able to sort of mitigate the situation. I had to retreat though, I didn't want to like, risk dying or even losing a, a totem. As I looked down, I could see Hunter starting to retreat from the battle. The battle was slowly nearing its end. The Deadlands had nothing else to use against us. The armies of Oasis are still waiting to see what the verdict was. The Deadlands cult had been defeated, and the Oasis had won. But it wasn't without cost. Many of the towns would be ruined, and a lot of people lost their lives. But in the end, Tum was arrested. We put him in jail within this dragon head prison we made, and now he rots in his cell. And hopefully, it stays that way. Throughout these remaining days, we knew we had to rebuild. We had to remake Oasis into its former glory. We knew we needed to make Oasis even better. We expanded everything, made new buildings, made new roads. It was a new start for Oasis, one without conflict, one with a new purpose, to be the utopia of the server. And throughout all this rebuilding, we remember those who perished during that fight. As now, Oasis was better than ever. Oh yeah, and um, remember that mayorship thing I mentioned? Yeah, it's coming up.